Howdy, y'all. Welcome to episode 49 of the Daily Decrypt, independent members of LTV Network. I'm Amanda, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by New Bits. Storage, the beta stage peer-to-peer -peer file storage system, is today inviting new users to download DriveShare and start earning storage coins. DriveShare is the storage wallet and client which utilizes the latent hard disk space of computers to store small and encrypted bits of everyone else's data. The storage network can currently store 100 terabytes of data, and they're aiming for their first petabyte. Storage coins are actually colored bitcoins issued through the counterparty protocol, and users of DriveShare can begin earning them when they have a balance of 10,000 storage coins first which is about 40 cents. Andreas Antonopoulos has made his 21 Bitcoin specialized computer into a Bitcoin accepting Wi-Fi broadcasting hotspot. He's published the code on GitHub so that anyone running a 21 Bitcoin computer can begin selling Wi-Fi by the minute for Bitcoin. Similar software has also been known to be executed on the likes of Raspberry Pis. Speaking of blockchain specific computers, the open source software project Slocket has announced that they are developing an Ethereum computer. Slocket intends to make the sharing economy easier by connecting devices, automobiles, and even homes to the Internet of Things, making them lockable, shareable, and tradable with smart contracts. Both the Ethereum computer and Slocket functionality are not expected for availability until 2017, but development kits for the Ethereum computer will be sent out sooner to those who would like to participate. Do you know the difference between a decentralized marketplace and a decentralized exchange? Are you familiar with a double deposit escrow or Komodo's gravity well? Cryptorials has kindly published a glossary of crypto terms, which may be commonly used but not as commonly understood. Brush up on your crypto lexicon using the link in the description. BitJoy is software which intends to make both accepting Bitcoin and paying out Bitcoin easier for mobile developers. Compatible with iOS, Android, and Unity, BitJoy is currently being privately tested on several apps in the Google Play Store. If you're interested in accepting and or paying out Bitcoin on your mobile app, or you would just like to revisit the way you currently do it, BitJoy is currently taking email signups for the release of their development kit later this month. Today's episode is brought to you by NewBits, the crypto token that is always worth one US dollar all of the time. If you're looking for crypto stability on the go, check out the NewBits NewDroid mobile wallet, which comes equipped with the Shapeshift API, meaning you can convert your NewBits to any other cryptocurrency at any time. Learn more at NewBits.com. And have a wonderful weekend.